I'm on a very special trip to Torquay in Devon today to test out Vodafone's open RAN deployment in this beautiful seaside town. Open RAN is a radical departure from architectures of old through its use of open and interoperable interfaces between elements that allows for a disaggregated approach to deploying mobile networks. The site behind me, from afar, looks quite standard with Comscope passive antennas and massive MIMO active antenna units. However, when we zoom in closely, we can see there's a Samsung logo on the active antenna units, as well as on a number of the remote radios below the passive antennas as well. Now, in this area of the UK, Vodafone typically deployed Huawei as their radio access network vendor. So immediately from that, we know that there is something significant going on here. Samsung is one of Vodafone's key open RAN partners, providing 4G and 5G radios, as well as the software platform that is being used here. Vodafone, Samsung and partners have gone absolutely to town at this site with it having 4G on 800 MHz, 900 MHz, 2100 MHz and 2600 MHz as well as 90 MHz of N78 5G with massive MIMO as well. Crucially then, how does it perform? Well, on 4G, the site is delivering just under about 300 megabit per second downlink with three-way 4G carrier aggregation. Meanwhile, on 5G, when doing dual connectivity non-standalone with 50 megahertz N78 carrier, I've been sitting at about 500 megabits per second downlink performance aggregated across the 4G carriers and the 50 megahertz N78. Meanwhile, when using the 40 MHz N78 carrier in dual connectivity with 4G carriers, the throughput has been actually only just a bit under 500 megabit per second as well, about 470 megabits per second. Curiously, the N78 5G on this site has the 50 MHz carrier 3410 to 3460 MHz and the 40 MHz one from 3720 to 3760 MHz, which is different to the more standard 90 MHz Vodafone configuration now, which has the 50 MHz carrier, once again, at 3410 to 3460, but then the second 40 MHz carrier at 3500 MHz to 3540 MHz, which is the post-trade configuration following a spectrum trade with Telefonica, which I will do a separate video about. But nonetheless, the two carriers at this site being so far apart spectrum wise is potentially why I'm not seeing NR carrier aggregation. In other words, using both the 40 megahertz and the 50 megahertz NR carriers and dual connectivity with 4G here. Although, it might also be down to the site configuration as well. Thanks for watching this video about Vodafone's open RAN in Torquay, Devon. It's been great fun exploring around the town, especially at sunset and all the beautiful lighting around the seafront. And the performance from Vodafone was excellent throughout. So thanks again, and I hope to see you on the next video.